In this video, we'll write the net ionic equation for NaOH plus KNO3. This is sodium hydroxide and potassium nitrate. First thing we need to do with net ionic equations, we need to balance the molecular equation. And this is our molecular equation, and it's already balanced, which is kind of nice. Next, we'll write the state for each substance. That'll look like this. Compounds with sodium, they're very soluble. Compounds with the nitrate ion, also very soluble. When we look at KOH, in general, hydroxides are insoluble unless it's in group one or it's ammonium hydroxide. Both sodium hydroxide and potassium hydroxide, sodium and potassium, they're in group one. So these are both considered strong bases and they're both soluble. So that's why we write aqueous after them. That means nothing has changed. All of these are dissolved as ions before we start and the same ions are dissolved when we've finished. It's helpful if we split the strong electrolytes into ions for the complete ionic equation to see what that means. So this is the complete ionic equation. We split up all the aqueous compounds into their ions. And if you look, we have our reactants on top down here, the products. We'll cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides, sodium ion and sodium ion, hydroxide, and then in the products, hydroxide. Reactants, we have potassium and in the products. Reactants, we have the nitrate ion, and in the products. We've crossed them all out. They're spectator ions. What that means is we started out with these ions and we've ended up with the same ions. So there is no reaction in the net ionic equation for NaOH plus KNO3. So this is Dr. B with the net ionic equation for sodium hydroxide plus potassium nitrate, except there's no reaction. Thanks for watching.